Hello, in this video we are going to start drawing a triangle. This is going to be a multi-video process. We are looking at the setup stage of the drawing a triangle and we are looking at the base code of the setup. So it's got, like I said, it's going to be a multi-video process with Vulcan. It takes a bit longer to get set up, but it is a bit more intuitive once you get your head around it. So we had this code previously, which allowed us to, you know, draw a GF W window and test that Vulcan was working. I copied and pasted this in because I, you know, in the set of videos, we just wanted to make sure it worked. We're going to delete all of this and code everything from scratch. And we're going to implement a class system as well, just so it's a little more, you know, clean. Okay. So some things will change and some things have been missing because some of them like the glm stuff at that time was just there for testing we'll add them back in later when we need it i'm doing some windows the process is the same for mac xcode for linux with you know the make file system that we did it doesn't really matter as long as you know how to you know <laughs> you know code in xcode for example you're good to go as usual if you have questions or any queries Feel free to post on the Discord group. There's a link in the description. And there's over four and a half thousand members. You can just post in the Vulcan channel. Okay, so we're going to put hash define glfw underscore include underscore Vulcan. And this will just force glfw to include Vulcan. Hash include glfw, glfw free, all good stuff. Then we're going to put a hash include io stream i'm gonna put a hash include std accept like so and i'm gonna put a hash include cstd lib there we go so these two will be using for stuff like debugging and this will use so we can have access to the exit underscore success and exit underscore failure macro so now we're going to create a couple of constants so const unsigned int width equals 800 you can set the width for the window to whatever you want const unsigned int height equals 600 and on other videos you probably see something like u in 32 underscore t this is just a type def that equates to this anyway i like to be a bit more explicit with my code so that's the reason i've got that but essentially it is it, you know it is the same thing so now we're going to create a class called hello triangle application call it whatever you want we might rename it later on I'm going to put public. So in public, we're going to have a method called run. So currently we're putting it all in the main CPP. In a later video, we will most likely separate this out into a header and a CPP file just for the you know triangle application class. So we're gonna put void run. So all this is gonna do, so we're gonna you know implement it in line. It's just going to call a method called init window, which we will be declaring and implementing mo momentarily. Another method called init Vulcan, and another one called main loop. Another one called clean up. And okay, I'm pretty sure you can guess what each one does. The init window just initializes the GLFW window. The init Vulcan initializes Vulcan. Main loop is what is constantly run while the window is open. Clean up once the application is shutting down or just before it shuts down, it will clean up anything that it needs to do, stuff so such as deallocating memory, for example. Okay, so what we're going to do now is create some private variables. So private. And we're going to put glfw, sorry, glfw window space asterisk underscore window, like so. And this will be the glfw window that we'll be rendering our triangle to eventually once we implement it over these videos. Now we're going to implement, you know, each one of these methods. And we're going to say void init window. 
and what I'm going to do is just create all of them and then code each one just so we have it. So void in it Vulcan void and the final one was clean up void clean up and what we're going to do now is in the init window we're going to say g out w in it so we're going to initialize g out of w we're going to say g out of w window hint and we need to specify some hints and we're going to put g out of w underscore client api g out of w underscore no api so this is just stating that we won't be using OpenGL because by default GLFW, you know, it's made for um, that's the moaning. Ah, put a low case L, my bad. By default, it's set to use OpenGL, so we don't want to use that. I'm gonna put another hint. You can think of these like setting properties for the window. And the next one, GLFW underscore resizable. And we're going to put GFW underscore false. We're going to make it not resizable because generally speaking, when you make a window resizable with, you know, graphics, especially 3D graphics, you will want to handle it specifically so things get, you know, rearranged accordingly and don't get stretched or squashed. That's something, you know, we'll cover later on. So for now, we're going to have it non resizable. Let's actually create the window underscore window equals gl fw create window first of all we're specifying the width and the height and then we're specifying the a title for the window we're going to say Vulcan and then we need to specify a specific monitor and a window to share we don't need to concern ourselves with this because Got one monitor we're not sharing any window stuff so we can just put these as no pointers if you know specifically what you're doing here and you do need to use one of these feel free you know they can be used since we don't need to in our instance we'll be skipping over in it vulcan method for this video we'll come back to it in the main loop we're going to put a while scroll up a bit and we'll see while GLFW window should close and then you specify the window pointer so this is saying while it's not closing because if it does close then that condition is true but saying while it's not closing aka until keep running until the window closes in here we're gonna put GLFW poll events for now all we're gonna do is poll events eventually we would put update stuff after and the rendering as well aka the drawing now in the cleanup we're going to put GLFW destroy window so the cleanup will be just specifying the window to destroy this all you know DRK memory blah 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 we'll need to end GFW by using the terminate method again this is just more background cleanup now what we can do is create let me put loads of empty lines so I can Easy scroll up and down and next we're going to create a main pretty simple stuff and first of all we're going to say hello triangle application create an instance of it called app and we're going to do try I do not want that so just try app dot run and so in case there's any problems you'll catch the exception and we'll handle that here const std colon colon exception and a reference to it e you can call it wherever you want and i'm just going to put std colon colon c e r r r so we're going to print out the error e dot what s t d n line so you just puts a new line character at the end it just makes things clean just in case there are potentially multiple exceptions or multiple other you know print statements 
here we will put return instead of negative one to indicate failure i'm going to put exit underscore failure this is just a more cross-platform way of doing things return exit underscore success and put a semicolon and that really it that is really it we should be good to go so let's give this a run hopefully we get no errors and this actually just compiles and it works so seems all good get no errors nothing in the console nothing wrong and that's it obviously we have not specifically you know set up vulcan yet we haven't loaded any extensions or check that stuff that's fine we're going to be doing that in subsequent videos this is just the base code and that's it if you have any questions like i said feel free to join the four and a half thousand plus members on the discord group there's a link there's a link in the description there's a vulcan channel on there plus many other channels to do with programming emulation games etc in the description there will also be a link to the github page where you can access all the code that we covered in here and not only the code i'll provide the, the templates on there for you know windows mac and linux setup stuff and because i'm coding this on windows i've actually committed this project and the pro and i'll be committing the project for every other single video so you can literally just download the windows one and just run it so you you, you can test stuff out without even having to do virtually little to no setup obviously assuming you got visual studio blah 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 all that stuff later on or if somebody wants to help me with this might have versions for each tutorial for linux and mac as well especially if somebody develops on those platforms that'll be great you know you can help me out feel free to just you know just message me or like directly on discord if you want to help out with that and that's it i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome vulcan video and bye bye